just go back, 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 back. What's going on everybody? It's Jay Coffee Talk back again with another video for you guys. So check it out, man. I'm sure you guys have all seen this whole situation with Gucci, this ridiculous offensive sweater. I mean, this just baffles me. It's blatantly um, you know, blackface and it's 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 racist in my opinion. I don't see how anyone could see it any other way. Um, I know Gucci's out of Italy, but I don't buy that, that they don't know what's going down, you know, here in America or, you know, I, I really don't know culturally how things go with, with other countries and things like that. But I, I, I feel like they have to be aware, you know, they sell so much stuff in, in America. They're so popular here and they know the hip hop culture was a big supporter, like that Gucci was a big deal in the hip hop world. And I just don't get this. Um, we've seen this recently. Prada also had you know, something similar, you'll see popping up on the screen, the images, you'll see the Prada, they had some um, racist um, things that came out as well. And uh, I was a year maybe ago or so, where I forget what that other company was, I believe they were out of the UK, where they had that shirt, and it said, um, that kid model in the shirt that said, coolest monkey in the jungle or something. And you know, I remember hearing on a Brilliant Idiots uh, podcast, that there was, um, you know, people were saying the same thing. Oh, maybe they don't know over there in that country. But I remember Charlemagne the God was saying, you know, um, he was referring to uh, soccer games and how when black players um, are out there, sometimes they throw uh, bananas on the field, you know, to offend them. It's, in, you know, it's a racist symbol. So I don't buy this bullshit that, you know, other places in the world especially ones who do so much business in America are not up on this. You know what I mean? I just find that to be bullshit. And it's just crazy that they even put this shit out. And I don't know, man, it's it's like it's 2019. When is this bullshit going to stop? Now, um, my son and T.I. have reacted to this. You know, my son, if you guys watch my video it was on my channel and you fucked with my old channel that was deleted as well. You know, I'm a big supporter of my son. He's always out there you know, on the front lines protesting. He's been arrested over trying to protest and put his voice, you know, out there and say what he's got to say. Soul not for sale. He works for the people, you know, and, and um, you know, that's his campaign. And, and I ride with my son. I believe, you know, I fuck with him. I think he's a positive role model and we need more people like my son in the culture. So my son shared and said, uh, Fuck Gucci, fuck Prada. I love myself too much to allow these corporations to disrespect me and my ancestors, to mock us while we make them wealthy. Nah, it's a new day, new mind state. I'm not status quo. My voice and my dollar are powerful. You have to teach people how to treat you and these motherfuckers gonna learn today. No, no equality, no economy. Now they're calling for a boycott is what's going on here. Uh, here's TI's statement also. He said, as a, uh, he said Gucci, he added him and he said, as a seven figure a year customer and a longtime supporter of your brand, I must say y'all got us fucked up. Apology not accepted. We ain't going for this. Oops, my bad. I didn't mean to be racist and disrespected toward your people. Shit. Y'all knew what y'all was doing and we ain't going for it. We all got to stop buying, wearing and supporting this piece of shit company and all piece of shit companies until they learn to respect our dollars and value our business our culture runs this shit um, he said we and then he said people of color spend a dollar 20 1.25 trillion a year but are the least respected and the least included and if we stop buying anything that must correct any and all of our concerns that's the only way we're gonna get res some respect put on our, on our name i don't give a fuck if i gotta wear target brand shit hashtag fuck gucci now that's um you hear him referring there to gucci's apology and their apology is exactly like he was saying it's just i'm like oh we're sorry we didn't we didn't know uh, we didn't realize we didn't mean it um, right here you see that we are fully committed to increasing diversity throughout our organization and turning this incident into a powerful learning moment. Like, 
I, I feel T.I. there because it's like, it's offensive. On top of the offensive shit they did, it's a, this apology is offensive because it's like, you're talking to people like they're dumb. We didn't know it. We didn't, come on, man, fuck out of here. I just don't buy that. Like, get in the comments. Do you guys believe this shit? Do you, do you guys buy this? Because I just don't. You know what I mean? And this ain't the uh, first time there's been a few, you know, companies that the hip hop culture rocked with that they canceled, you know, that um, uh, making racist statements. I, I remember also, get in the comments, let me know if you guys remember this back in the 90s. We all know Tommy Hilfiger got huge in the hip hop community. And I remember Hilfiger saying something, you know, along the lines of that he didn't want his uh, clothing represented that way. And, um, but the language that he used was kind of offensive, but I just don't get this, you know, like this racism still exists. It's gotta stop. I don't know guys. I, I don't know why these companies. And then like I said here with Gucci, they are mocking people to try to think people didn't understand this, that, that they didn't know what they were doing. As I said, I really, you know, want to hear what everyone has to say about this. You guys know that's, that's what this platform is about all the time, hearing what the people got to say. Um, you know, we can agree to disagree on things. That's how I do it. You know, as long as everyone's polite in the comments, but I just don't see any grounds here for anyone to disagree with this, that Gucci didn't know or whatever. Now, getting back to this whole uh, boycott talk, I hope they do boycott Gucci and I hope Gucci feels it. And I'm sure they will because uh, T.I. and that main lie in the hip hop industry put pumps a lot of money into Gucci. Now, WAC 100, um, you, he, you know, makes the hip hop blogs and news very often. He has an interesting take on this. He's saying he ain't, he ain't offended by Gucci. He ain't going to stop wearing Gucci. Um, you'll see the post popping up on the screen. He says, I don't know why y'all talking about y'all not wearing Gucci no more. That shit y'all was wearing wasn't um, real anyways. And then he said, wearing mine today, tomorrow, and the next day, just not wearing that piece. Hashtag just keeping it real. I don't know, WAC 100 always seems to wanna go against the grain and just argue with people and shit, but I, I don't know, man. I guess it doesn't offend him, but I don't know. We, we all know how WAC gets, but um, I don't know, guys. That's all I really got. I just wanted to put this out there, you know, share that uh, T.I. and my son reacted and then just trying to get a boycott going and you know, share Gucci's bullshit apology. But please get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about all this. Don't forget about WAC 100, uh, how you guys see his take on it. Um, as I say, everyone's got their own opinion. I'm just surprised to see that from WAC, but at the same time, I'm not because WAC, like I said, he always just kind of want to argue with motherfuckers. But that's all I got, guys. It's Jay Coffee Talk signing out. Look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments. Please hit that like and subscribe, guys. Don't forget to hit the bell so you get the notifications to my videos. Till next time, I'm out of here. Peace.